Hey guys, this is SP from Tech Century, and today finally the new MacBook Pros were released. And so we just have a first look at those, and they are all new in 13, 15, and 17 inch. Well, there's no redesign as it was expected, so that is kind of a downfall. But let's have a look at the new features. So, all in all, they all have Core i5 or Core i7 processors that you see right here. So we'll start with the 13 inch. So this actually comes standard with the 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor. And you can also get it with an Intel Core i7 at 2.7 gigahertz. Those are both dual core processors um, with the turbo boost um, function of those Intel Core i processors. And um, you can get an SSD as an option, but it isn't standard. No 8 or 16 gigabyte SSD standard, not at all. Just a regular hard drive in 320 or 500 um, gigabytes at 5400 rotations per minute. So besides that, we got the Ace, uh, SDXC card slot for up to 64 gigabytes um, that you can put into there. Then just a regular, um, well, like super drive the um, DVD drive and what is kind of new and not too good in my opinion is that the battery life now is only seven hours as compared it was 10 hours on the 13 inch MacBook Pro before so with those um, Intel Core i processors there's a big decrease in um, battery time or battery life as it has to be said that Apple is using a new standard for testing those hours now so it's wireless web connectivity instead of just um, the regular amount that they said. And what I also don't like is that now the MacBook Pros, at least the 13-inch version, comes with Intel HD Graphics 3000 with 384 megabytes of DDR3 memory, which is shared with the main memory. So no separate graphics unit as the NVIDIA 330M before as it is also um, or 320M as it's also built in the MacBook Air so it is supposed to be better than all the um, integrated HD graphics from Intel before but I'm just not a big fan and I doubt the performance so we'll have to wait how it performs another new feature is FaceTime HD camera and also the Sun uh, Thunderbolt port um, up to 10 gigabyte per second which is actually built into the micro um, or mini display port and this is a new standard by Intel also called light peak and this allows as I said up to 10 gigabytes per second and it is twice as fast as USB 3.0 there's no USB 3.0 on the MacBook Pros at all so I don't know it isn't too useful at the moment because there are no other devices at least at the moment I know of that support this technology probably they'll um, be released soon but as of now I don't really see too much sense in this so that was the 13 inch MacBook Pro then we we'll just go to the 15 inch version and you can get a glossy or anti glare display as before as an option and here you have the 2.0 gigahertz or 2.2 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor with 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. All the other um, specs are pretty much the same. You also get up to 7 hour wireless um, connectivity. The special thing about the 15 and 17 inch is that you actually get a dedicated graphics card from AMD, AMD or ADI as it was before. And this is the HD6490. And in this case with 256 megabits, uh, megabytes of G <laughs> DDR5 memory. And um, you can get an option of 1 gigabyte. Um, and this is, I believe, standard on the 17 inch. And just to have a quick look at it. So yes, with 1 gigabyte of DDR5, that's standard on the 17 inch. And the standard configuration is a 2.2 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor. So that's pretty much the first look at the new MacBook Pros. I have to say, 
personally I'm really disappointed by the upgrade because in the end it's nothing more than the last upgrades, better processor, graphics, um, or better graphics, I'm not sure about the 13 inch version, we have to wait for some benchmarks for that, but besides that the 15 and 17 inch do outperform the um, NVIDIA GeForce 330M that was built into those devices before. And you know, with the battery life, I'm also really disappointed because it was 10 hours on the 13 inch, I believe it was 8 to 9 hours on the 15 and 17 inch, and now it's 7 hours at all devices, so I'm not glad to see that at all. There's no redesign, which I'm, which pretty much is the biggest downfall for me personally, because in the end, for, at least for me personally, I purchased a Mac because it looks good and because of the features. But the unibody design is getting old to me. I think it's around for over two years now. And I think there should have been an upgrade. I don't know, at least make it a little bit thinner or something. Uh, something. But it's just nothing. So I'm not too excited about this. Light Peak or this Thunderbolt seems to be a good idea. But not at the moment because there are no devices to use it with. Besides that, HD FaceTime camera is really welcome. I would love to have this on my iMac or on the MacBook Air, but it's not really a big argument to purchase a new MacBook Pro because in the end you can get an HD webcam for I believe like 30 or 40 bucks. So it's a nice addition, but nothing too exciting. And that's pretty much it. I mean, um, everybody has to decide for themselves but I have to say, I am really disappointed with this uh, update. Oh yeah, I can just um, tell you the um, price is quick. So um, I think they haven't changed. And they should come in at the 13 inch with 1,199 US dollars. Let's see if the store's up. Yes, it is. Um, yes, 13 inch at 1,199 dollars for the 2.3 gigahertz i5 processor for the i7 with 2.7 gigahertz you pay $1,500 for the i7 with 2 gigahertz at 15 inch you pay $1,800 for the i7 with 2.2 gigahertz you pay $2,200 and the 17 inch costs you or set you back around $2,500 for the Intel Core i7 with a 750 gigabyte hard drive so that's pretty much it I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and we'll see each other in the next video. Thanks for watching.